hello, hello, my new human family. My name is Oracle Jesse. she, her, hers, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're returning. I am here for the new humans and the old souls. I'm here for the light workers, the healers, the shamans, anyone who is interested in the loving, compassionate movement that is going on with humanity these days. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear, but I'm sitting near a park, and behind me there is a man-made lake, probably, but it is host to some Canadian geese on their way south. So, I don't know if you can hear the geese calling to each other, but that's that's what I'm looking at. If you see me looking behind me in my side mirror here, that's what I'm looking at, and that's what I am listening to. So, I don't quite know what I'm going to talk about today. Um, I suppose I should give you guys a life update. One of the exciting things going on in my life is I can now have little pom-poms, little pebbles, ponytails. So that's exciting. I do want to get my hair cut again. I simultaneously have too much and not enough hair. So I want to take this part of my hair, of course, to make it look good. This part of my hair that that is currently able to be in a top knot, and then I want to buzz the rest of it. So this down here that was buzzed, I want to buzz the rest of it down to a three. So I just want this up top and then the rest of it buzzed to a three. And then I want to be able to grow out the top of my hair. So that's a little bit of life update. But I am excited about this cute little thing that I'm able to do. And the possibilities there. So, there's that. We are no longer in Annapolis. We're back down in the D.C. area. Um, and this is, yeah, there's, there's plans being made. Plans are being made. Um, for travel plans. There are travel plans being made and we don't quite know how they will come about, but I do know with the new moon coming up, the new moon in Sagittarius is coming up on the 26th. New moons are really, really good for doing something new, doing something in a new way travel, new moon and Sagittarius, travel, of course. Um, so, and then of course it's the holidays coming up soon. Thanksgiving is at the tail end of this month. It's on the 28th. So I will be going back home to Indiana to celebrate with my family and visit them. Among that, other travel plans are being made, and yeah, I'm just seeing and integrating all of these, these things, these messages that I'm receiving from the universe and spirit that are encouraging me. I'm getting so much encouragement. I am seeing synchronicities in numbers. I'm seeing synchronicities in the messages and the YouTube videos that I'm watching in, in the, um, people I follow on Instagram and in the, just a lot, there's a lot of synchronicities going on. And so I'm seeing the numbers 777 a lot. I'm seeing the numbers 888 a lot. Um, you know, some people just write them off as lucky numbers and, but they're, they're not, they're not just lucky numbers to me. They're, they're universe telling me that I'm on the right path, that I'm going the right way, that I'm able to sit 
in this uncomfortability knowing that it's temporary. And so I'm really, really excited about being able to open up to the realm of possibility that is coming with this new moon. Um, yeah, the full moon um, has come and gone, and at the same time we are now softening and learning to heal and integrate the, the shadow work that we have done and that we did around full moon time with the full moon in um, Taurus. And so just taking a look, taking a good hard look at the mirror and seeing what is there and available for you. It's it's, I'm, I was talking with a friend on Instagram earlier and they, um, they had the tower come up in a reading for themselves recently and they shared it on Instagram. And I said, yes, that is exactly what we're going through. And so I have two different or, um, tarot decks that came, that came to mind when I looked, looked at this friend's reading. And, um, so there's one the Circle of Life deck, I know you guys have seen it if you follow my Instagram stories, but it's the Circle of Life deck, and um, so this, a couple of demons are dismantling a tower, basically, in this, um, in this deck, and so I see them as helpers, because they're helping to shake loose everything that is not needed, like the trees shedding their leaves. You know, leaves serve a very specific purpose in the life of a tree but in order for the tree to survive the tree needs to hunker down and just be able to go inward for winter time and because if the tree tried to keep its leaves for longer than the season allowed then the tree would die because it, the tree has so much energy going outward that the harsh winter is is going to kill the the tree if it doesn't go inward and conserve its energy and hibernate and allow for nature to take its course and so um these demons are just tearing up what is not solid so if we imagine ourselves as being part of a tree, the, the, the demons are helping by dismantling that which is not permanent. So taking off the leaves, taking off the outer layers of skin that might have served us for a time, a time of survival. And now we are learning to look at ourselves in a new perspective and learning to take a step back maybe and look at this lesson that we're that we are teaching ourselves and appreciate it for what it really is and so seasons are changing for me certainly seasons are changing the wheel is turning it is about time to shift and shift and do new things, do something new. It's time to move on into a new space. It is time to move on into a new venture. And it's so exciting because there are so many possibilities out there. And when you decide to live in the realm of possibility instead of the realms of fear instead of the the realms of scarcity and just know that you can venture out into the universe knowing that everything's going to be all right that everything is working out for you and 
just having trust in yourself and trust in your partnership, your own partnership with the universe. Um, yeah, it's, it's just an amazing thing to not know what's out there, but still be able to go out to play. And yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of that encouragement in the messages that I'm getting from the universe. I'm seeing a lot of encouragement from other awesome new humans doing, just doing their thing. It's so cool to like be so surrounded, whether it be in social media or in person, by people doing awesome stuff. Like, and maybe, I don't know, to some of us lightworkers and new humans, maybe we just don't know that they're doing awesome things. It's just like, yeah, that's a thing I do when, no, it's like, no, that's a cool thing you do. That's awesome. Keep doing it. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's really, it's, I am nervous. I am excited and, you know, closing chapters sometimes is, is bittersweet and that's, that's, I suppose that's part of what's going to happen. It's just... Also, the next, the next thing, it's, it's time. Or once, once it happens, it's going to be time. So, just contemplating that, I suppose. The geese are moving, so that's, maybe you'll be able to see them here in a second. Flying across the screen? Maybe? No, I can't see it in there. But, geese are moving. Leaves are falling. I saw a bunch of robins that were migrating, because my, um, robins migrate. And it's about time for me to sober too. So that's what is gonna gonna be going on. Gonna get some things in order first, so that's gonna happen. Um Yeah, I, as far as specific things on my dream, on my mission and vision, mission and life purpose, um, for those who don't know, I will say it and I will say it again because I'm so excited to be sharing all of it, is um, I want to have a retreat and healing center for new humans, light workers, um, healers, people of all types, all races, all sexes, all genders, all, <laughs> all orientations of human, all flavors of new human to come together and learn together, learn how to love each other, show more compassion, for ourselves and for each other and for Gaia as well. So learning about <clears throat> sustainability and um, ecology and sustainable living, <sighs> gentle parenting. I want to have a men's retreat center on the grounds. I want to have a women's red tent. Um, I want to have LGBT workshops and retreats there. I want to have anti-racism workshops and retreats there. And I want to have um, a birthing center for new families. I want to have earthships and 
um, host people like at a hostel or a bed and breakfast and teach sustainability workshops and do all of the things. Um, so specifically, as far as that goes, there's not been much progress other than energetically. Energetically, I think about it every day. I think about being there and doing the, the things. And um, a couple weeks ago, I had a dream about where I think, I think this is the dream, but I'm not sure where it's going to be, I think. Um, so I'm literally dreaming about it, daydreaming, uh, daydreaming about it, and energetically planning the things. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm still open to suggestions about places to go and check out as far as hostels go, retreat centers, workshops to attend, um, and yeah, because I am very much mobile and will go anywhere to do this. This is me shifting focus to my purpose, my joy, and my passion in this world is to help unite people in love, show more love, show more compassion for myself, for others. And just shift into that space more and hold space for others to radically heal themselves. And allow big transformations to happen. And yeah more connection, create more connection with ourselves, the earth, and each other. So, yeah, I think I just rambled on for about 18 minutes. I think I'm going to stop. <laughs> the numbers, the numbers keep happening. 22333. Three, three. The numbers. Trust. And threes can be either the Ascended Masters or a catalyst, a catalyst coming. A catalyst, basically, ooh, that is, that is something to talk about. Basically, a catalyst, a catalyst, uh, if I could talk, a catalyst would come in and change things without changing itself. So maybe making reactions faster, basically. So, speeding things up. Humanity is going to be changing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot in the next three to four years. We are going to see explosions in the worlds of science and inventions medicine, and just in general, the love and compassion that we all have the capability of showing for each other, and consciousness. You think we're elevating consciousness now? No, it's going to be a big deal in the next three to four years. 2020 through 2024, 2025. So exciting. So exciting. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll talk more about that. The upcoming changes for humanity, for the earth. I haven't even talked about those changes yet. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot to cover. There's a lot to talk about.
If you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Please feel free to check out my other videos. Um, I will be uploading weekly readings as usual. And I was just thinking about doing um, the year ahead readings by Zodiac sign and just in general expanding my YouTube readings to do zodiac signs. Um, so let me know what you think about that in the comments, and I will be um, doing video, uh, sorry, video readings for the year ahead for 2020, and I will be um, not only doing the card readings that you guys are used to seeing, but I also will be offering numerology readings as well. So I would need your date of birth in order to do the year ahead readings um, and, your, and your numerology readings. So let me know if you're interested in that. I think that's it as far as the, <laughs> the announcements goes. I'm going to hop off here. I have rambled enough with nothing to talk about. So, I love you all so very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for witnessing this journey, this part of my transformation. I really appreciate you witnessing. Namaste. I love you all so much. Hasta la bye-bye.